So Nico, what we're going to do is have her knee up a little bit more at a right angle here. And that's good. That way it spreads out all the attachments here for working in the hip. And we're going to do the back massage from a sideline position. Okay. So we want to get everything organized so that when we push on Allison, she doesn't feel like she has to resist us or push back at all. And I'm going to tuck that under your arm now. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so then we're going to do the same strokes. We'll do effleurage. I'll go down. You can come up. The uh, erector spinae are these long muscles start here. They run parallel to the spine and they insert here. And those are the ones that we're going to try and stretch out. So I'm going to push down. And then on my way back, I'm going to pull up. Okay. And it doesn't matter so much about um, <clears throat> pressure down and light up because the veins are really deeply embedded in the trunk of the body. So it's not like the extremities that way. Okay. So you can do pressure coming up towards me and pressure going down the sides of her. Nice. And that lean onto that leg is really good. Yep. And... Nice. And you can put that leg out a little further. Yep, so it's really emphasizing. Yep. That's good. Nice work. Good. A little slower this time. <coughs> and just come on up. Nice and slow, get on the palm, that's it. And then when you get to the top here, we're gonna start with a reinforced palmer kneading. So just put one hand on the other, and you're gonna go up and away from the spine. Close. And you're coming all the way down. So I would, sorry, toes, I'd stay like this. So put okay. your hands on mine. So we're gonna go up and out, and up and out. And you're kind of backing yourself away each time just so you've still got the lean onto that front leg and keep the tips down. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Perfect. How's the pressure, Allison? Great. And really emphasize that hip when you come down here. Okay. Yep. And keep all the tips down, Nico. Yep. So you really conform to her shape. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And then the lower side is awkward. But it's still good to get to because sometimes they don't want to flip on the other side. You know, if she's in um, labor and delivery, it's like, just leave me alone. I'm good on this side. So we try and get both sides from any fixed position. But ideally, you just flip her to the other side, right? So try the lower aspect too. And I would suggest put this hand on the bottom. There you go. It kind of wedges into your body better. Okay. Nice work. And, and nice leaning on that leg. That's good. So Chris, if you see Nico's posture here, this is what you want, folks. You want to be able to really angle that arm in and be able to lean onto that leg. And, and you know the dining room table is good for this kind of thing or um, any park bench, actually. If you've got a summer baby coming, you know, just put down a couple okay. of towels and get on it. And lying on your side anywhere, Allison, is good for people to to work on your back, fully dressed or in your bathing suit, it doesn't matter. And then when you get up here this time, go right around that shoulder and ecos. It's awkward, but you can get in there and it's worth the uh, attention to this upper trapezius here. It goes right into here. That's it. Nice work. Then do a figure eight and then up to here. That's and that way the pressure is always up away from the spine. It's pushing out and then pushing out and then stay on that side. And I'll stay on this side. And you're going to go up and out that way. You got it. Okay. So up here in the neck, what I do is a little bit of this kind of thing. So you can scoop. There's hardly any space there to scoop. But try and get your big hands in there. I'll put a little bit more of the oil on your fingers there. And I'm just going to tuck that right for a minute and scoop like that. So put one hand scoop up, the other hand scoop down. One hand scoop up, other down. Yep. And what I'm going to do is get my hands underneath your hands, okay? So, and just lean on me. There we go. Yep. And put your thumb on mine. Yep. 
So you get that scoop. It's kind of like an open sea. Lovely. How are we doing? Good. Looks good. Great. And that is so relieving. You know, it's so easy to do. And it feels kind of like homemade massage, you know, but it's really relieving to the tension of the upper part of the body. Because when the breasts are growing, it's like sometimes putting another five or ten pounds on those shoulders. And you really, even though she's got strong shoulders and she tends to be a bosomy woman, there's still extra weight. What do you think now? Have you doubled or maybe a third or what would you say you're... <laughs> Their growth would be. They're definitely way bigger. Way bigger, yeah. yeah. So all of this work here is really good. Okay. And then I would try this, Nico, where you put the thumb kneading up there. It's really awkward, but trying to get it right up into the back of the neck. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Good, good, good. And then try right in the center, too. There you go. And you're right. If you back away a little and slow it down. There you go. Perfect. That's lovely. How's that, Allison? Great. It really looks good. Nice. Okay. And say, Nico, that she wasn't able to do, we'll do alternate thumb kneading here. Okay. You can do it on that. So it's a lot like the iliotibial band, like we're going across the erector spinae. But say she wasn't able to lie on her back like she can. We could do the arms and the legs in this side lying position. Because yeah. it might be by the last month that she's <clears throat> comfortable lying on her back, even in a elevated sitting up lying on her back position. So you really want to get so that you can do everything from a side line. Arms, legs, tummy, that works. And then you can go right down to the lower back and the lumbar area and I'll go down to the mid thoracic. Yep. How are we doing for pressure, Allison? Great. And the greatest tendency people have, which you don't do anymore, is to lift up. Instead of leaving their thumbs on the whole time, they tend to go like that and have what I call flying thumbs. Let's go down onto the far side here. That's a good idea. And that one knee up, one knee down is really, really good. And I usually get padding. So, yep, yeah, and just go a little slower. Sorry, Chris. And it's kind of like getting a, a little bit of a, a bench there. Your knee, thank you. My knee. It's like morning prayers. <laughs> How's Abigail doing? Good. Baby's good? Mm -hmm. She likes She's it. She's not complaining. No. She's just hanging out. Great. And then when you go down into the lower back, let me show you what we can do too. We can lean like this, so I get right up against here. Okay. And do this kind of lean, <clears throat> so that you can really make it a big stroke. You can keep them together, and you can separate them out there. Okay. Oh, lovely. How's that? Good. And this is a really good over the shoulder one too. Chris, it's just, um, you're in good hands. <laughs> I can't believe it that you haven't practiced as much as you say because you've got such a good instinct, Nico. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah, it's really inspiring. You should teach all sorts of dads. <laughs> That's great. Now, Allison, where would you like the emphasis? Would you like upper back, lower back? Uh, the upper back and shoulders. Oh, oh, okay. So, upper back and shoulders. Oh, let me show you this one. So if you go like this, like even if you're on a bed, put her head down where the feet are so that you can get around the end of the bed and then you can okay. get this angle of aiming right in there. Because getting that upper trapezius, she's so strong in the shoulders. Yeah, and the more you can go on your tips, Nico, and the smaller and slower the stroke, the slower you go, the deeper you go with it, and, and she can tolerate it. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. No complaining. No. No, just the opposite. 
Lovely. Are we hitting spots? Oh yeah. Good. And this is where it's well worth doing the flip, you know, because you can really get that upper trap nicely elongated. That is really, really good. That's what I like. I like putting one hand in and one hand over like that. And is that comfortable on your throat? Mm -hmm. We're not getting a good grip that... Yep, that's great. And this is a really nice posture on the shoulder. And she could probably do with another half hour of that. But uh, we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you how to get right here. So Chris, where we're aiming here is like the back of the skull. Like right where all these attach. So you've got the trapezius attached and you've got your erector spinae attaching right along there. So what we're going to do, Nico, is put one hand here and we're going to pull up like that. Okay. I know, put your fingers right on mine and you'll feel, okay, now pull up against me and underneath. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yep. That's very similar to what I was doing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. How's that? That's good. And then move it along. Don't wear out any one spot and just keep moving it along. So we'll start in the back there and then we'll come along here right to that mastoid process there. Yeah. And it's the pulling up into it. Yes. And again, slow it down. There you go. Perfect. And then I would play it a bit like a piano, Nico. Like just put your fingers on mine. I'll take you for a ride. So it's like that. Okay. Isn't that neat, Allison? Mm hmm And you can really work that along. There you go. Lovely. There's something about the intermittentness of it that is easier to tolerate, you know, than just the grip. Even though the grip has a circular movement to it, there's something about this kind of movement. I add in a bit of a circle to it, so I work it along like a piano keyboard, and then I circle on the keys. Yeah. How are we doing? That looks good. Sounds like you're almost going to sleep. <laughs> mm, no, not yet. She's asleep on the set. And then you can go to the far side. You can go down. And the nice thing about here is you can actually get like <clears throat> right underneath. So your fingertips disappear and you're kind of levering up against the pillow. How's that? Good. And this is also nice in labor and delivery, okay. you know, when they're spending a lot of time like that. And maybe there's a pause, it might be five minutes, between a contraction, and you can go up and loosen everything there. Okay. Good, good, good. Great.